Okay, in the last lecture, uh, we have discussed some of the non-linear applications of the operational amplifier, uh, such as half-wave rectifier, full-wave rectifier. Today, we will discuss some more uh, non-linear applications, such as the clippers, clampers. They are called as in general uh, wave shaping circuits. wave shaping circuits using op amp. So, this wave shaping circuits basically can be this clipper circuit or clamper circuit. As the name clipper implies uh, it cuts a portion of the waveform. Clamper means it will uh, move the it will shift the the entire waveform. This can also called as the DC restorer. So, in the clipper and clamper again there are two types, it can clip only the positive portion or negative portion, they based on that this can be a positive clipper or negative clipper. Similarly, clampers can be positive clamper or negative clamper. First, I will discuss about the positive clipper circuit using op amp. The circuit diagram of this positive clipper circuit is as follows. So, at non inverting terminal, this AC voltage is applied, which is VI, and this is diode D, this is output V naught, this is load resistance RL. Let us call the output of this SAP amp intermediate output as V0 dash. So, what happens to the output during the positive clock cycle of VI, and what happens during negative clock cycle of VI? So, here what we are going to do here is, so this will uh, have positive and negative power supplies minus VCC and plus VCC. So, this output we are going to connect through the this V reference. So, the voltage between this ground point and this point we will call as V reference. So, you have to clip with respect to some uh, voltage. So, that uh, clipping voltage is uh, V reference that we are going to take from plus VCC. So, now what happens during the positive half cycle and what happens during the negative half cycle? Let us assume that this is the input waveform V i with respect to time. So, what is corresponding V naught? Let this is V reference voltage. This V reference is positive because, so because this is plus VCC, so V reference is positive. So, what happened to the circuit during a positive half cycle? 
if vi is less than v reference okay. this will cover uh, two cases okay. so here also vi is less than v reference and here also vi is less than v reference except for this this portion to this portion here vi is less than v reference here also vi is less than v reference okay. so during this portion and during this portion what will be the output you can see that here v reference is applied to the negative terminal so of course there will be some small drop across this rl so here the voltage is almost v reference which is positive applied to the negative terminal whereas vi is applied to the non inverting terminal positive terminal of op amp if vi is less than v reference what will be the difference voltage so the voltage at positive terminal is less than the voltage at negative terminal resultant uh, the difference voltage between these two points is negative as a result of that what will be the output amplified version of this uh, negative voltage so v0 dash is sufficiently negative so we are going to design this such that to drive diode d into conduction got this voltage is negative and here this voltage is positive this is positive so diode will drive into conduction if i assume the diode as ideal implies diode will act as short circuit sc stands for short circuit so what will be the equivalent circuit now this will be short circuited so as a result of that this will act as a closed loop uh, circuit and this will be basically a voltage follower you can see that this will be equivalent circuit will be now something like this this will be short circuited and this will be connected here and here this input voltage vi this one vi and here we are taking through resistor v not this is basically voltage follower so implies the circuit acts as voltage follower ckt is short form of the circuit implies output v not is equal to vi so this is when vi is less than v reference that is during this portion and this small portion now the second case is vi is greater than v reference if vi is greater than v reference so vi is the uh, voltage applied for the non inverting terminal and uh, v reference is the voltage applied to the negative terminal now vi is greater than means so this difference voltage here this will be positive because vi is applied to positive and v reference is applied to negative vi is greater than v reference means the difference voltage of this operational amplifier is positive so thereby v0 dash is sufficiently positive to drive diode d into cutoff so once the diode is cut off what will be equivalent circuit this will act as a open loop configuration this is vi this will be connected to 
आउटपुट बट हियर दिस इज ओपन सर्क्यूट दिस इज ऑफ कोर्स कनेक्टेड टू द वी रेफरेंस through load load resistance so what will be output voltage basically this voltage is this is v reference so this also will be v reference because this resultant voltage is positive this will go into the positive saturation because the open loop this is open loop configuration open loop gain is very high so this will drive this v0 dash into saturation so plus vcc but what happens to v0 final output this final output is basically this is connected to this v reference so output is v reference so during this small portion this is v reference so during this portion only during this portion this v0 is v reference during the other three portions so during this portion this portion this is the case so if i draw the output waveform up to v reference this will follow the input when at v reference this will be output will be v reference and during negative portion as it is same as the input again during positive so this is v reference you see the output waveform so this will clip this input signal at v reference okay. so this type of uh, operations are required in communication system especially in amplitude modulation and demodulation uh, schemes we want to limit uh, the uh, noise uh, which occur during the transmission of the signals we can use this clipper circuits in the am demodulation so this is about the positive uh, clipping you can clip the positive portion of the signal similarly you can have negative clipping circuit also so the only difference here is the direction of the diode you have to change and this instead of connecting to plus vcc you have to connect to minus vcc negative clipper using opm so your circuit diagram will be like this so here this direction of the diode has been changed and also this output voltage will be connected to minus vcc This is R L. This is output voltage V zero. This is input voltage V I. There will be feedback connection. So only two differences are here. Instead of plus V C C, we have used minus V C C. Here direction of diode has been changed. this is v0 dash now how do you demonstrate the operation of a negative clipper circuit if you take the input output waveforms of this clipper circuit this is input signal so it will be corresponding output signal
that this is V reference. That is this V reference is negative. This is your V reference signal. We take again the two different cases. One is VI is greater than V reference. So, which portion? This entire positive portion, this entire positive portion VI is greater than V reference and also this portion up to here. So, this red area is the portion where here also again. So, this red, red area is the portion where V A is greater than V reference. Okay. So, now what happens to output? So, V A is connected to the positive terminal. So, this is more positive than the voltage which is applied to the negative terminal. Negative terminal this is negative voltage because V reference is negative. This is the V reference that we are going to apply. This is V reference which is negative. So, this is negative, this is positive or even a negative value which is greater than this V negative. So, what will be this difference voltage? Difference voltage will be positive as a result of that V0 dash will be positive. Is sufficiently positive So, this is positive and this is negative. So, the divided D will becomes conduction sufficiently positive to operate diode in conduction region. So, as a result of that what happens diode will act as short circuit and what will be the equivalent circuit? This is voltage follower basically. This will be short circuited. This is the output voltage. This is basically voltage follower. So, output is equal to input. So, during this uh, red portion output is equal to input. So, here this output is equal to same as input from here to up to here and again here. Now, during this portion, so this portion is nothing but V i is less than V reference. So, what happens? Now, this difference voltage, this is this voltage at positive terminal is less than the voltage at negative terminal, resultant signal is negative. So, this V 0 dash is negative. So, we are going to apply here the negative signal and here this will be positive because this V reference will be this is also negative, but this is also negative, but between these two negatives this is more negative as a result of that diode will be off V 0 dash is sufficiently negative to drive diode into cutoff. So, then circuit will behaves like here instead of closed circuit will be open circuited. 
this will be no more voltage follower this is open loop configuration so open loop configuration gain is more so v not dash will be almost saturated this is minus vcc this is saturation and what about v0 v0 is nothing but this is open circuit this is v0 this is v reference so this will be a small drop across rl the other entire voltage will be drop across this v0 v0 becomes v reference so this becomes v reference got this v reference is negative this is also v reference again positive also during this portion this is positive so during this portion same as the input up to here and here again so this is the output waveform of negative clamper this is going to clamp at negative portion that is why the name negative clipper so the next diode circuit is uh, the clamper circuit similar to this uh, clipper positive and negative clipper here also we have positive clamper and negative clamper first i will discuss about the positive clamper circuit which clamps the waveform either to the positive side or negative side so the circuit diagram of this positive clamper circuit is this is operational amplifier this is plus vcc this is v reference here the output v not is taken the r will be capacitance here the input ac voltage is applied this is plus vcc this will be minus vcc also this is circuit diagram of uh, positive clamper circuit say so given a input like this we will see what will be the output so you can see that the output is going to be clamp in the positive direction so let us assume that this is vm this is the maximum peak voltage minus vm this is input voltage vi so now to explain this operation here because this positive terminal will be having dc this is dc voltage a part of this one will be v reference will be the voltage division vcc into this resistance divided by total resistance so this is dc whereas here ac is applied so this circuit uh, consists of both ac and uh, dc sources so the output voltage depends on both ac as well as dc first i'll see uh, what is uh, dc response so in order to obtain the dc response you have to make ac response zero so f is equal to zero implies xc the capacitor inductance 1 by 2 pi fc which is equal to infinity so it will act as open circuit so this is open circuited and here the current through this terminal is zero so this is also zero means here the resistance will not be there and here this vdc the input voltage for positive is v reference v reference is applied at positive terminal of op amp then 
then what happens to his diode? Because this is positive voltage and negative voltage is 0, so the output is positive. If I call this output as V, v dash say, because V reference is positive, V dash is also positive. This is going to drive this diode D into conduction. So, this will act as short circuit. So, this will act as open circuit. Here, this resistance, even though if it is there, because of this zero current, resistance will not be there. Then, what will be the equivalent circuit? This is something like this. Here, we have V reference, and this part is connected to output. This is nothing but voltage follower. So, output you can call this as V0 due to DC. So, V0 due to DC is equal to V reference itself. Okay. So, when the input is uh, DC, output V0 simply follows the input DC voltage. Now, we will see what is the AC response. So, in AC again we have positive cycle as well as negative cycle. I will first take uh, during the negative half cycle. So, now to get the DC response, AC response DC is equal to 0. So, this point will be 0 grounded. So, because this V i is negative minus plus during the negative half cycle. So, this negative voltage output of this one will be V dash will be negative. This will make diode off. So, diode is off then the capacitor C charges to peak value of Vi. If I assume that Vi is Vm sin omega t, then C charges to Vm in this direction minus plus. So, this will charge to Vm. So, this entire input voltage will be drop across the capacitor and the output voltage V naught is equal to 0, V naught due to AC is equal to 0. Of course, V naught due to DC is V reference. So, overall during the negative half cycle, the AC component is 0, DC component is V reference, output will be V reference. Okay. I am going to plot this output here. If I take this as V reference, this sort of the output will be this is V reference, this is V m, this is another V m. This is the type of output obtained at the output of this circuit. So, during the negative half cycle, you can see that output is V reference. And what happens during positive half cycle? So, during positive to half cycle, what will be this output voltage V naught? So, now this becomes positive, this becomes negative and this output is plus with respect to minus. So, this capacitor has charges to V m, 
minus plus. So, if I apply the KVL, this is minus 2 plus is VI and VM is also this capacitor is minus 2 plus plus VM voltage V naught is plus 2 minus. So, this is V naught. So, V naught is equal to this is due to AC V i plus V m. So, the total output voltage V naught is equal to V naught D C plus V naught A C. So, this is equal to V reference plus V i plus V m. This is during positive half cycle. During negative half cycle simply V reference. This is 0. So, V output is equal to V0 DC which is V reference plus 0 V reference itself. So, you can see here that during the positive half cycle. So, you can say this this is V naught, this is V m, this is V m, this is V reference. So, this is V reference, this is V m, this is another V m. Total 2 V m plus V reference. This V i also will becomes V m and during negative this is V reference. Okay. This is how this entire this waveform will be clamped in the positive direction with respect to V reference. This is about the positive clamper circuit. Okay. This is also called a DC restorer. So, this can be used to uh, double the voltage voltage doubler also you can implement by using this type of clamping circuit. There are several applications of the clamping circuits. So, if you want negative clamper circuit, only two differences are you reverse the diode direction reverse diode direction is 1 and you apply this instead of minus Vcc you apply plus Vcc to reference. V reference obtained from minus Vcc. So, with, with these two changes the circuit will access negative clamper means this entire waveform will be clamped in the negative direction. So, this is about this uh, clamper circuit. So, in the uh, next lecture we will discuss about the uh, some other non-linear applications. Thank you.